have been destroyed by man-made CO2, some say, but one man thinks he has the solution by using engineering, not just straight science. That man is Professor Carl Ross from the University of Portsmouth, who's on the line. Good afternoon, Professor. Oh, good afternoon, my friend. Uh, what do you suggest we do with these CO2s? Well, what you've got to realise is that some 50% of the CO2 in the atmosphere is absorbed by the ocean surfaces. And uh, this, causes, this forms into carbonates, carbonic acid and bicarbonates, and makes the, makes the oceans more acidic. And uh, this could kill the plankton, and if the plankton dies, we'd be in serious trouble. So to kill two birds with one stone, what I suggest we do is we have nuclear-powered ships, which... Uh, collect the CO2 from, the, from the, the upper layers of the oceans, turn them into, into uh, dry ice carbon torpedoes, right. streamline, launch them into the sea. They will sink, uh, they don't fire, they, they, sit, they sink under own weight because the density of dry ice carbon is 1.56 times the density of, of water, and they will sink. When they reach a depth of about 250 meters, due to the pressure of the water, the carbon dioxide torpedoes will, will form into carbon dioxide hydrates. And that's good? That's good, because they freeze. And uh, as they go deeper, uh, they, they, they will freeze even better. Right. Eventually, if they might reach speeds, because they're streamlined, they might reach speeds of 5 knots, maybe 10 or 15 knots, and then they will hit the the ocean bottoms, and if the, if the soil there is reasonably soft, they will sink into the, into, into the soil, so uh, there they will remain um, stable for millions of years, as indeed methane hybrids will remain stable there for over 60 million years. How do we capture the CO2 emissions? Well, you have to have uh, equipment designed by chemical engineers, which will, which will seize the water and suck out the uh, carbonates, uh, uh, the bicarbonates, the carbonic acid, and uh, make it into carbon dioxide, dry as carbon dioxide torpedoes. Do you think it can work? Oh, yes, it works. It works all right. Yeah, we've got the technology already. We can do it. And how long would it take to do it? Well, you, you, I think you could probably design a ship, uh, design a ship in about a year. It's quite easy because if you have naval architects and chemical engineers working on it, they could probably design the ship in a year. I, is it very expensive? Would it be? Well, I reckon you could. I reckon you could uh, build a ship like a nuclear ship like that for about two fifty million pounds. Right, which and is cheap in, in. Which is quite cheap, and of course, it, terms, it, yeah. it'll be spread among the, the whole world's got to get together to get rid of this excess carbon dioxide. And of course, you know, we build say four ships. The Americans build twenty ships, and the yep. Russians build ten ships. We could uh, together the world could. Uh, get rid of this carbon dioxide forever. <laughs> Sounds like a fabulous idea, Professor. I wish you well with spreading the gospel around the world. Thank you very much indeed. That's Professor Carl Ross from the University of Portsmouth. This is